Well, hey, everybody. Hey, I thought I'd get out here for a few minutes and, and encourage you a little bit. Yes, and Maddie confirms, okay. I think she thinks she's talking. <laughs> Excuse me. And we got all these, uh, yeah, <laughs> little lights here. A little light of mine is I'm going to let it shine. So I didn't want to share, now that that's on, but it's not very bright. Hey, Molly, go turn my motion light on. Um, but this is like, you know, we're living in amazing times, y'all. It's, it's imminent, okay? Any moment, nothing else has to happen as far as biblical is concerned for Jesus to part those clouds and call us up hither. Yet, there's so many that are still needing Jesus. Oh. So it's a bittersweet kind of situation, and I understand that. And the enemy is on the prowl because he wants to, like, you know, word on the saints, as written, and, you know, when you're throwing your emotional stuff in there and keeping people bound up and chained and, and their emotions and pain, literally, <laughs> it gets a little bit overwhelming, let's just say, but pressing into Jesus, <laughs> knowing that he is the author and the finisher of our faith that we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength, and that he is coming. We are in the season, right, as we are the fig tree generation. Uh, we did that math a couple weeks ago on a live where, you know, 1948 is when Israel came back and started flourishing. Um, then, you know, we find out in Psalms 90, 10, how long a generation is and 85 strengths in which the Lord would give us during this time. So, and he is. So we have everything we need. We have the armor. We have the word we have each other we have prayer it moves mountains and um, oh my goodness we have everything we need we really do oh, he said we would lack of nothing he's got this he's on the throne he's not moved at all by anything that he sees and we are trees planted by the water and we shall not be moved i'm speaking that positive affirmation out there to anybody who is wavering, all right, or or may think of it because you're not. <laughs> so, saying that, I just wanted to share a couple of things. And well, Molly, Dora, I need you over here to turn my motion light on for me over here because uh, there was a few things I wanted to share. But until then, I'll, I'll continue going on. Um. You know, been seeing 7-Eleven an awful lot. Oh, thank heaven for 7-Eleven, right? <laughs> Amazing how they play this. So, um, and we know that to be Genesis 7-Eleven, right? And that's when God closed the door to the ark. Now, I've been talking to the Lord on a personal level as my best friend because he is. He's my everything. I can do nothing without him. Um... And I was talking to him about, you know, the fact that when that door closed, I had had an open vision at that time um, as I was talking to the Lord about it because I was saying things like, you know, when that door closed, nobody could open it. And I had an open vision of Noah and his family sitting with their back at the back of the ark. I guess it was like they were backed up to the wall. Um... And they were hearing all this screaming and people begging to come in, let us in, let us in. And there was no way that Noah could help them. Can, can you just imagine how horrific that must have been for him? I mean, he had been mourning for 150 years. And, you know, God picked Noah to do so. He was obedient. He told them specifics, what to build, when to build it, how to build it everything what kind of wood to use and then Noah struggled through this whole thing right but he was obedient and he listened to the Lord and he did exactly what he said and the second he was done and got every animal in the ark that he was supposed to the rain started and it had never rained before so being backed up against the wall and listening to all these people screaming must have been horrible uh, I just couldn't imagine what it is. But 
but Noah knew, and God remembered Noah, and that day saved Noah and his family, right? So there was eight of them in the ark. And then, you know, the water subsided, and look what's happened ever since. So we know that he is about to part those clouds and call us up either. <laughs> so this is a cray, but okay. So since the lights are on here, I wanted to share. I had had that cut down probably like, what, eight weeks ago now? We've had all these frosts and cold spells, and it's growing. So I decided I'm just going to let it grow. Just like the fig tree, right? So, and then again, all, all my gardenias, all my lilies growing back. This is like bizarre. And then all my hibiscus, I've got them growing and flowering and budding. And um, it's just crazy amazing how this is all happening and grass is growing. And I'm like, wait, you know, all these leaves are falling from the tree. Not a whole lot, but enough. And yet, the grass is growing and everything is beautiful. All right, so that would be the author of Confusion, right? But, hey, I know it's also horrible weather in other parts of the country. And I'm praying, and my heart is really praying deeply for BC and what they're going through. But this is also the time when, you know, programming and... You know, making it so, it's like, so one thing after another that that you become numb to things, right? And it that's exactly what happens and what he wants us to do is to become numb to this and, and have no feelings. And that's not it. We have feelings and we have emotions and, and don't be feel bad about having them. I understand I'll be the first one to beat myself up for not saying something right or not doing something right or wishing I had said something else instead, <laughs> you know. Um, but, hey, it's okay because God knows he looks at the heart. That was the whole point about Noah is even though, you know, he, on his outward appearance, he didn't seem like a man of God other than screaming, Jesus is coming uh, for 150 years so. God looked at the heart and saw that he was obedient, faithful. All right, so that's what he's looking for now as we <laughs> are justified by grace through faith, right? That's how we're saved, but... And not of ourselves or our works, like Son of Man boasts. For we also know that he is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us of all unrighteousness when we repent. All right, so... And that's in Romans 5, I believe. Knowing that, you know, hey, the Holy Spirit convicts you. You know when you're off track. You know when you're, you just know when you're hurt, the one that you love so much with all your heart, mind, body, and soul. <laughs> he's amazing and he's worthy to be praised. Oh, and loved. Yes, absolutely. I know no other love other than the love of God and of course, there's love from animals and other people and brothers and sisters, and I couldn't, I couldn't get by without <laughs> any of y'all. Uh, you are my family. So, seeing that we know that we're in, you know, this month. <laughs> oh no, I uh, almost at the end of the year, y'all. Almost there. We have to be before the end of 2021. So, it's a minute. It could be any moment. So we also see, and I also, let me share one more thing before I get on to the Watchmen information, all right? Uh, Maddie, what you doing over there, girl? Uh, <laughs> okay, so I have an alarm clock that tweets like birds, okay, when I set it. And I like waking up to the birds sometimes, tweeting. I think it's kind of cool. Other than that... Molly and her squeaky toys. Gotta love it. <laughs> I love it when she squeaks her toys. And then there's times that I set my alarm on my phone. On my phone, when it goes off in the morning, it'll say the time and the date. And that's it. Okay? And then until I shut it off. Well, yesterday morning, it was way so strange that I know 
I was not dreaming. I was, I don't know what, what happened. And I can't explain this. And I'm not saying that this is a dusty, it's a board and or anything. But I was asleep, sound asleep. And I woke up to the words, it's harpazo time. <laughs> and I like did a <laughs> pop my eyes open and what did I just hear? <laughs> you know, I I'm not saying that that's exactly what it said, but I know exactly what I heard. How could I make that up out of a dead sleep? I don't know. It's kind of cray. But I've had other people text me and tell me that they've had verbals from the Lord as well. Now, what I want you to know is that in La Palma, and we see what's going on over there, right? And that's pretty bad. They're, they are fixing to celebrate um, Christmas this weekend. This starts tomorrow over there. Big festivities going on. This is amazing. Volcanoes going on right there, right? And we know the solar eclipse is also happening over there. Um, so this is over the palm and I put the link to a video in the community for y'all. Um, also, Hawaii is actually having a snow blizzard. Are we serious? Okay, well, it doesn't surprise me. Everything else is cray. And this world might as well have that. That would be the... The least expected place in the world that you would think would be having snow right now, right? <laughs> yes. Well, also, you know, two cones now in La Palma and several deltas. And I've been watching a few, like, that are from other sides of the mountain or the volcano, whatever we want to call it over there. And that eight out of the nine islands are actually a volcano. Oh my goodness, we've gotten so educated and smart during this time as well, right? So, that's a lot of stuff, y'all. And the earth is shaking under our feet everywhere. I mean, even in the United States, there's been many quakes. They're covering up the quakes. And we see this bi the binary star planets coming in. The system, I'm sorry, uh, red, purple, guys amazing and beautiful but god uses everything for his good and his glory i remember that and the heavens have declared his glory how amazing they have been oh what a show yes it's truly amazing so i could tell you about the wars and the rumors of wars but guess what that's been going on for a long time and yes i mean i know that that's some of the mocking and scoffing we get as well so Take an opportunity of, like, uh, you know, they're going to be locking down again, all right? So bring that possibility up. And you can see when you walk in the stores and, or go anywhere that just look in people's eyes. as eyes are the winner to the soul. You can see the fear in their eyes. And it's sad. And there's a lot of times that I'll just feel led to go and talk to them. All right, Manny, are you playing referee? <laughs> I don't know. Dora, what are you doing? You getting in trouble? Are you causing trouble? <laughs> Molly is probably the one causing it, all right? And where's the kitty? Where's the kitty? <laughs> um, so I promise I could come out here with a list of things that uh, have been going on, but... One thing is for sure, I'm having to keep going and checking on the computer. The actual battery still says 100%. I'm like, no way, kidding, right? <laughs> this is no joke. I'm going to go live. I was so, so upset that I couldn't go live last week. But I was also put myself on overload, you know, taking care of those two older dogs and um, uh, everything else that had been going on, I just put too much on myself, and I need to know where to draw that line as well, and it's constant, we're always growing, we're always learning, and it's not going to stop, because it's all for his good and his glory, so I'm, he's my potter, and I'm the clay, he can mold me and make me in any way he wants, I am willing, Lord, here I am, Lord, send me do with me what you will. 
Praise be to God. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yes, Lord. And he gives us this day our daily bread. You know, he's in our tomorrow. It's, we're not to go there. He says, lay not onto um, your own. Anyways, <laughs> I went off. I got distracted by something. Lay not onto your own understanding, but on all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. So he also tells us not to take any thought for tomorrow, and then our past is gone. But it was finished on the cross once and for all, okay? So don't try to play God. Don't try to be God. Um, Matthew 13, or Mark 13, we found out, and we read a few weekends ago as well that uh, people just don't want to hear it. People can't hear it. People have chosen not to hear it. They don't want to hear it. They know. All right? They just don't want to let go of this world. There's nothing we can do but pray. Pray and believe. Pray and intercede. Greater things can we do in his name. It's what he told us. So continue doing those greater things in his name. Seriously. Mark 16. Yes. But he is coming, and he's coming so soon. Time is of the essence, and, wow, well, just be ready. Anything could happen at any moment, especially with the solar eclipse coming up. Remember, we had the lunar eclipse uh, over here on the States, but this is over on the Middle East part of town and part of town of the world. And there's lots going on over there. We don't even need to get into detail. Um, because it's written in the Word of God, and just knowing in your spirit, you can sense it, you can feel it, you know, what's going on. You, you can feel his closeness, he's in the air. <laughs> I can hear it calling in the air tonight. Come up hither, Debbie, yes! As I say, that this is Debbie from Chagu, saying peace out, Maranatha. Keep looking up, brothers and sisters. Be encouraged. Nothing more or nothing less than. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. We let no man steal our crown. Revelation 3, 10, and 11. We are to watch and we are to pray. In Jesus' name, peace out and Maranatha.